what's up it's been a while we're uh recording now and um today is gonna be something a little different i'm trying something new on my camera too and um it's gonna be more of a car video i haven't really done anything like that but uh i kind of want to start i just got this package my sister kind of already opened it just to see what it was but um the short shifter for my car so uh let's see what it looks like Okay, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Is there anything else in the bag? No. Okay, so yeah, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I definitely thought it was going to be smaller than this, but... Um, I'm waiting on Kurt, and we're going to put this on my car, see how it feels. Um, I'm going to go outside and show you my car real quick. It's not the Mini Cooper anymore. And, um... Yeah, let's get to that. Alright, we're at my car. This is my car. The, uh... It's a Mazda 3S. The hatchback we're with kurt kurt's just gonna take off the ship now real quick because that's part of the process and um yeah this is my car it's got a little bit of issues like you know a little bit of rust but uh i'll get to that different time this is my car we're mainly just gonna be working in here and uh we'll see how it turns okay, out so we're in my car we're gonna get started um not really sure how we're gonna record this but we'll figure it out so uh so far kurt's just looking at it and uh, I gotta take this piece off. I'm just gonna put everything in the back seat. And that's how you install a short shifter. All right, and that's the end of the video. We're good. Okay. But actually, <laughs> got this. Throw it in there. Then, yep, oh, that was it. Okay, well, there's that. Oh, I see. I see. Right, well, we got to go get two Phillips, and I think these are 12 bolts, or 12 size. We're going to go get some gloves so we don't hurt ourselves. Okay. <laughs> Pulls on the e-brake, but we just roll back. Oh! Just leave, just leave it like this. Oh, right. hell yeah, we're not it's putting like any of the middle console back. This is how I'm driving from now on. This is actually kind of cool. Yeah, we're gonna need grease. Look at the old grease. Yeah, it looks like shit. Alright. We're gonna have to jack the car up. For this okay. <laughs> um, should just be up here. Let's just grab this one. This one looks like the right size, right? Seems like it works, too. Let's, let's not strip the bolts and just destroy them. Okay, so we're gonna need that. I think we're gonna need this one. Just took the drill over there. Okay, well. <laughs> Oh, goes on this one. Okay, we're gonna take this and the uh, extension. I'm guessing this is all we need. If we need more, we'll come back. I think Kurt took the screwdriver. Kurt, do you have the screwdriver? Do you have the screwdriver? Okay, he said yeah. All right. Got all the socket stuff. Let's not use that to destroy the bolts. <laughs> See, of course it does. Okay, well, this fits too. I go and unscrew those. Actually, we might want something to put those in. Oh yeah, as long as there's nothing over there, you can just put them over there. You can just put them in here and then close that. No, because that has to come off too. Oh. Just go to the wide eye. Yep, there we go. That looks a lot better. All right, uh, now pull up the video. <laughs> We're watching a Colton Ryder video, I think his name is. Something like that. So. I don't know how many times I've actually like taken this entire dash apart, so don't lose okay, everything. Okay, we'll watch the video and then we'll go back. All right, we're back. Okay, so basically we gotta take all of this off and then take these little bushing things off. And then uh, the guy in the video took this whole panel off. I'm, should we do that? I don't know. All right, whatever. It don't matter. We don't need it to come out. Point. We could probably do it without it. Okay, so... We need to, like, disconnect this. Yeah, we gotta take these off. But we need flatheads for that. And then we could just rip this off. Well, you could take that off, and then I'll go get flatheads. Take this? Yeah, just both of these pieces off. This should just come off. I 
don't think that's the issue. <laughs> it's a uh, one piece. Both of these are one piece. Yeah, but it's like there it goes, oh, and then uh, wires. let's just throw this off to the side. Okay, well then uh, let's uh, let's go grab a flathead so we can rip this thing off. We literally are watching a video because we don't know what we're doing. Let's just grab this one and a small one, just in case we need a small one. We'll come back when they're off. Okay, well, they're off. And, uh, just cut my hand off. <laughs> oh, neutral. That, that's why you should be wearing gloves. All right, then what was next? Taking these bolts off. <sighs> they're so bad. <laughs> just punch this thing. Screw that one, and then I'm gonna see how to take these ones out because you have. I'm pretty sure you have to take these out. Kind of like a slide in thing, so they kind of slide in right here. So right under these pieces, so those will be down there. You just pop. Maybe we should take this off. <laughs> They're down there, I think. Yeah, we might want to take this off. Yeah. All right. So it's where's the screwdriver? Right here. Okay. There's two in here. And then some over there. So when it's off, uh, we'll come back. All right. We're at this point. We took everything off. <laughs> All right. What was next? These little clip things. Still bleeding. Pop that back on there. Uh, let's watch the video and see if we can get those off. All right. Well, we got these little things off and then we got all the way off from the back. Kurt's just loosening these four bolts. Now this whole thing, yep, there it goes. All right, um, yeah, that works. Now we can Watch the rest of the video and see what else we have to do. Do not pull that. <laughs> just in case. I'm just going to take this thing. And just... Alright, what's next? All right, so we've actually gotten kind of far now, and I kind of forgot to record. But um, we got the new one on. We got the spring back on. Little white pieces on. Just gotta put this clip back on. This little one right here. So we're gonna take I don't know this little screwdriver and just push them all in. For the Cole and Richard video, I think I'm just gonna link it in the bio or something because basically I got this idea off of him. He bought this uh, shifter on eBay and I liked it and I have a Mazda 3 and this is the only one they still make for the Mazda 3. So I was like, hmm, let me go ahead and get it. But uh, yeah, that's on. Let's see what else. I don't think we need any of those yet. 
Um, you want to keep watching the video, see where we're at, and we'll just come back? All right, so basically it's just us putting everything back together. So I think we're going to do this one, and then... Maybe we should put those back on. No? Yeah? But, oh, yeah, we should probably screw that back in. Yeah, I put grease on those. This was in the glove. Huh? God, my hands are fucking sweaty. Okay, so I should take these. They were supposed to come with new bushings, but it didn't. I'm not really mad about it. I don't really care, to be honest. It basically just makes this thing more sturdy, but it does, for me, it doesn't really move. And it didn't come with it, so I'm not too worried about it. That one, that is. So we put all of these back in. Should we re-grease it? I already did. That's it? Yeah. I don't want to push the clutch in. That is tiny. Jesus. All right. Then what comes after that? Big ass thing back. Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on. Drop it over here. It has to go up. Through. You can pull it up. Can you hold that for me? There it is. And that's the clip back onto that thing down there. Come on. There we go. Let me clip this on me here. And like this. What is it hitting I think it has on? to pull up far. Oh, it does. It's hitting on the shifter. There we go. Yeah. Damn, Kurt, you're smart. Ah, there we go. And now, just drop that in there. All the bolts. I think it's just these two. So we need an eight. Oh, you had the bolts. Yeah, I know that was. And the screwdriver's right here. Okay. Okay, well, we stopped recording, but uh, everything's back on, screwed on, tightened. This is where it sits regularly, so it used to sit like right there. Now it sits right here in neutral. Pull my carpet back. Definitely feels better. Well, the shit over. And let's go for a test drive. Let's see how it feels. So far, just sitting here feels pretty good. Let's go for a test drive. So we're driving it. It feels better. And uh, it definitely feels a lot shorter. Your car, and well, that's the end of the video. It's just a little something to put on my channel that wasn't scootering. 